Hello, welcome to a video tutorial on database. Um, today I'm looking at 2017 February March paper two, and I'm looking at tax four, which is on database. Question 24 says create a, a data entry form to include all fields from the the three table. Okay, the three table. So we're going to create a form using the this particular um, table. All right, so straight we go into our so that is the tables I've imported in. So I go to create and uh, we're going to create a form. Um, instead of using this simple form, I'm going to use the form wizard. So I click on the form wizard and then there's a table for the trees. Okay, and so here what I have to do is bring in all the fields, then Click on Next, Next, Modify, Finish. All right, so this is a form. So I have to change the name here. Please. Okay. So click on the boss. Once you find the, the yellow bar, you can drag and then adjust the way the form looks. So the claw bar here makes it to be lifted and moved to whichever position you wanted. So yeah, I want the form to be at the far left, so I can do that. To adjust the remaining field within the form, I can equally do that. Now let's go back to the form view and then see how it looks like. So this is the form view. I've created the form. So we go back to the question. So create. So I've done question 24. The next says that I should add these records to the table. So here I have CL1, um, Zelda SOL, and then 2004. And then you check your data entry for errors. So quickly um, click on the arrow here that says new record, and that takes us to the new record. So we type in CL1, and um, in this here we put in the uh, of Lebanon, and then here is SOL, and then here we have 2014. Right, so that is 2014. You save to. Uh, I have that error because I've already entered in that field already. So double click on the table to display that. So here is it. So I'll just this delete this record. Yes, I want to delete. And then go back to the form. And um, so I'll close this table. Um, and then go back to the form. So that is it. And then click on save. And then on the next arrow to enter in a new record. Now, this time we didn't get any error because uh, we just entered in that new record. So if you once again click on the table, you find in that particular record we just entered. Uh, the next question says we need to check out data entry for errors. So you have to just cross check to see if the information you have here is the exact thing in the question you are provided. All right, now the next one says you um, please in your evidence document screenshot showing this um, data in the form. So we take a screenshot. So this is the form. We need to take a screenshot of the form using the snippet. Um, so I click on that, click on new, and then take a screenshot of this here, and then um, Control C to copy. In your evidence document, you paste that um, form. All right. So that is it for the first session of that particular question. Uh, question 26 says, identify three features that could be added to the form to make it easier to use. And then say, enter um, in your answers onto the slide with the title features of form design. OK, so that is in tax two. So this is part of tax two. And tax two is on um, presentation. So for this particular question, we have to add three features um, so let's see, next question. So the three features that we can add to improve our form are here. 
the we can see that the field names here are not um, bold enough so we can improve the font size okay that is one thing we can do alternatively we can make one of this field here a drop list um, that is using the combo box uh, we can also include a checklist um, just to give you an idea that uh, you fill the information here and uh, another information we can provide is to give a guide as to what exactly you um, if another person is sitting to enter in record um, have to do if the person is working on the form um, so there's not enough information as to what to do when someone has this as a form so you provide a letter of information in this session as a guide to whoever is entering the form so those are possible features we can use to help to improve the form so i'll go to the form uh, the design view and then try to implement uh, a few of what i've just stated so far so to begin with i just drop this a little down um, and drop that also later down all right so the first thing i mentioned was the combo box so i can delete this particular field by clicking on the first one in the control bar and clicking on the second one and hit the delete key okay. now i click on the combo box and uh, drop down the combo box okay now once i do this I have the pop-up box showing and I want to type in the value that I want and go to next and here I need to type in the values for this field now we can go back to the uh, just cancel this quickly and then I'll do that again we want to find out the years we need to enter for that particular field so to do that I go back to the table and from the uh, year node, I can just click on this drop down. And then it gives me all the list of years that uh, have been entered within this. So I have 2006, um, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, so that would be the information I need in creating the uh, combo box. All right. So back again to the form and then to the design view of the form so i go to the design view of the form once again i click on the combo box and just just drop i mean drag it and drop below the first one and then go to our type in the value go to the next and then here you type in um, 2006 since that was the first one and then we have 2010 as the next one to then and then i have 11 so the next one is 2011 um, excuse me we'll go to 2012 um, the next one is 2013 not the end all right 2014 um, arrow down 2015 arrow down 2016 all right so once i've done this i go to next and then they uh, remember the value for later use um when you click on this they store that value in this field so in this case you are going to use one of the field we are not going to use that we just stick to the first one and then say next and then we can change the name here to year build underscore and then the build right and then go to finish now you notice that once i type in the name it's changed here as a field name and then all you have to do this time around is to adjust so you uncheck that one and then adjust this particular field to match um, the previous fields okay so just uh, to match the previous fields uh, just do that adjustment um, so that is it then so this is one of the features i mentioned um, the second feature i mentioned was a label so i click on this here that is label and then drag and drop the you use a label and then you type in the information you want the uh, person working on the form to know so you begin by say uh, enter the id um, of members uh, 
members. So enter using the using the okay the um, ID. Okay. So this is also one thing you can add. And then for the next one, since it's a drop down list, you can also click at um, a label and then say select. So select. Um, yes, from the list. Okay. So this is enough information to help the person. The next thing we can do is to adjust and make the field a little bigger. So the font, you can change it here or just go to the color and change it there. Or again, you uh, have to just uh, adjust the theme of this particular form. We get it so choosing any of the things and then applying it to all of them so um either of them would do and then um, we you can also click on arrange uh, sorry formats and then under the format you can also change the font size of the field so here i can decide to make it 14 for each so I make sure I highlight the remaining field, make it 14 for all, okay, and then make it bold. And then um, you can change the color a little bit. So here, not everything is shown, we'll just adjust it a little. Um, so that is it for the three features that were required in the creating of the form. So we can go back to the form view. So we go back to the forms by clicking on home, go to view, and then click on form view. So you realize that this is bold, and then I have enough information here telling me what to do. And this is a drop down list from which we select the list from. We can option I be it for this particular section of the creating forms. Uh, all right, so that brings us to the end of creating forms as far as 2017 February. March with part two is going to say. So until we meet again, bye bye.